That is to say, Globers do not understand the argument would be an understatement. If the Earth is a sphere and has a radius of 3959p, then every horizon to the distance must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer height in feet. Q. You see, we have an idea. A big idea. An idea so big that it would require your head, plus a scientist, plus a technician, plus a mathematician and the head of a geodetic server and even with all of these heads the idea still may be too big to shoot her in i propose you the globe are confused you don't understand because you think the horizon is physical it's not to help you understand where you are going wrong how you are wrong and why you will always be wrong you need to understand turbidity Turbidity, the quality of being cloudy, opaque, or thick with suspended matter. Thus, at certain moments of the year, certain distant reliefs are almost always hidden by atmospheric turbidity. Earth to Globa, do you copy? The horizon you were measuring or attempting to measure is actually made up of suspended matter. Suspended matter that sometimes obstructs objects bottom up. Suspended matter that will reflect objects given the appearance of refraction or looming. Suspended matter that will never position itself static so it can be calculated from an observer's location. Geometry is now bankrupt. Height to horizon is meaningless. Height of an object beyond the imaginary horizon is redundant. Height of observer is illogical. I repeat, height of observer is illogical resulting in Globers not being able to physically pinpoint the physical horizon, rendering all calculations concerning horizons are empty, purposeless, futile. Let that sink in. Face the fact that you, the Glober, cannot locate the actual physical horizon. You cannot proceed to make measurements for something that does not actually exist. So we can do this the hard way or the easy way, because whether you like it or not, you yourself are never going to be able to demonstrate practically that you live on a surface that curves. Follow the black swan. <laughs>